Captain America and Black Panther in World War II Games Release Date and Details? The Captain America Black Panther World War II team-up video game was one of the most exciting announcements at Disney's D23 Expo earlier this month. This Marvel-inspired game oozes potential, since it's being led by a bona fide gaming legend, Uncharted creator Amy Hennig. Very little concrete information exists about the upcoming game, including a concrete release date or window. First announced in October 2021, the project has been in development for at least a year, and the team behind its development has been around since 2019. But based on what has been shown it might be better to hold off on any hope of seeing this in the next year or two. This could be a late 2024 title at the earliest if development is smooth. We still don't know much about the former Uncharted writer's latest project other than that it's set in World War II and will likely feature a mix of grim battlefields and stealth espionage. A stylish trailer, sporting old-timey music, shows a few clues about what the game's story might be about, and ends with a quick glimpse of the King of Wakanda himself. However, details about the game from Skydance New Media are thin on the ground it doesn't even have a title, let alone a release date or platforms. We do have a teaser trailer and cool tagline, for heroes. Two worlds. One war. We also know it'll star a fresh-faced Cap slash Steve Rogers, Chalice Grandfather Azuri as the World War II-era Black Panther, Gabriel Jones, a U.S. soldier and the only black member of Cap allies, the Howling Commandos, and Nan Ali, the leader of the fledgling Wakandan spy network. Cap and Black Panther are instantly recognizable but Jones and Nanali aren't nearly as well known. The camera pans over a reference to Hydra, Marvel's generation-spanning paramilitary terrorist organization, and eventually settles on an image of Black Panther and Captain America. The first is flanked by a soldier and the Eiffel Tower, while the second is next to a Wakandan warrior and a seeming image of that nation's capital. So far, though, we still don't know the game's official title or a projected release date. The adventure will kick off in Nazi-occupied Paris, and terrorist group Hydra will be up to no good. Hennig is the key factor elevating this project. Beyond her role in the early Uncharted titles, she was the writer-director behind series like Legacy of Kane, which holds a special place in my heart, as well as Jack and Daxter. Acting as story consultant is Mark Bernardine, who's also a supervising producer on Star Trek. Picard and a writer on Netflix He-Man series Masters of the Universe, Revelation. Captain America and Black Panther Video, Game Team Up, D23 Expo 2022. The Skydance sit-down, however, fleshed some of this out a little further. Some stuff they mentioned, you'd outright expect, they're promising best in class graphics, for example. Who'd have thought? But other stuff, while not earth-shattering, lent some additional color to the details we already knew. The World War II setting was picked because it was a formative era for Steve Rogers, something they thought might be fun to cross over with Black Panther. Nan Ali, meanwhile, is a character who only appears briefly in the comics, but that's exactly why Skydance picked her. It sounds like they're going to take it as an opportunity to flesh out the fledgling spy's background. Gabriel, they emphasized, would explore what it meant to be a black man during this Nazi meets Hydra era, and what it might feel like for him to interact with Wakanda. As they put it, Skydance wants to explore the idea of four unlikely heroes, two of whom are superheroes, two of whom aren't, all brought together by global conflict. Hennig spent a long time talking about the studio's desire to make the game approachable to everyone to the degree that they consider it one of the four major pillars of the overall project. We've got this franchise and this IP that is universally loved, but we're gonna put it behind this sort of walled garden where if you can't hang, if you can't get good, then it's not for you, she posed, trying to point out the absurdity of that hypothetical scenario. We want everybody to feel like they can experience this, she clarified. They can put themselves in the shoes of these heroes, the controls are simple, contextual, intuitive, but also deep, for long-time gamers and people who have never touched a game before.